Hello, people. Uh, this is Sri. Uh, recently, I have created the uh, YouTube channel. The main uh, motto is uh, sharing the knowledge that uh, peoples. Okay, uh, so mostly I will cover the uh, things related to MySQL administration. And going forward, I, I have also planned to cover the other technologies as well. Okay, uh, so this is this is uh, currently I am preparing my first video uh, for my channel. Uh, so the title of the video is MySQL installation using the EM. Yeah. Okay, uh, so mostly the videos will be the tutorial uh, with the hands-on. Uh, so you will get every steps and uh, mostly you will get the details, uh, all the details about your steps. So if you have any questions or if you have any doubts, you can post the command in the uh, under the comment section. So whenever I have time, uh, I may take a look and give the answers. Okay. Uh, so let's go to the MySQL installation using the M. Uh, I have prepared one server. Uh, this is the next server. Uh, so my host name is, uh, this is my host name. And my server specification is this one. So I am using the CentOS 8. Okay, uh, so it has the latest kernel. Uh, I am using the CentOS 8. Okay, uh, so the first thing is uh, to install the MySQL using the M. Uh, you need to download the M repository. That is your first step, okay? Download the M repo. So you can download the M repository from the MySQL community uh, website itself. Uh, just go to uh, Google and you can uh, type MySQL community downloads. Okay, uh, so once you given this, uh, you can click the first link and it will re redirect to the official MySQL page. Here you can click the MySQL M repository. Okay, uh, so I am using the center you see, so mostly this is the first one that is uh, for the Linux 8 things. Okay, so mostly the first one is uh, most suitable for me. So based on your server, if you are using Linux CentOS 7 or uh, Red Hat RHL 7, then you can choose this package. You can, if you are using 6, uh, based on your OS, uh, you can choose the uh, package, okay? So I am using the CentOS 8, so I am choosing this one first one. So I'm just clicking the download. Uh, it will redirect to this page here. I, I'm not going to directly download in this my laptop. Okay, so because I need this package in the server. So what I'm doing, I'm just uh, giving the right click and I'm just copying the link address here. Okay, so I'm just copying the link address. Then I'm going to the actual server and I'm di directly downloading from the server itself. Okay, uh, so I'm using the command W get. So it's, it's resolving. Yeah, uh, so now the repo, repo file is downloaded. Uh, you can find under the directory. Okay, so this is my uh, M repo file. Okay, so I first thing I need to install the repository. Okay, so I am using M local install repo file. So this is asking yes. Okay, so you can see here uh, it is installed, and here you can see it is completed. Okay, now I am just verifying repo list. Yeah, uh, so MySQL repositories are installed uh, right now. Okay, the next step is I need to find the uh, package. I need to install the MySQL community server. Uh, so I need to find the package, uh, whether the package is available or not. You can also make sure the uh, 
community.repo, you can also make sure that MySQL 8.0 uh, repository is enabled. Okay, but uh, let me find the package first. Let me mlist. Okay, uh, so when, when I when I am searching the package MySQL community server, but since the package is not available, uh, but I already installed the MySQL repository, but the package is not available. Uh, okay, so why, why this is happening is there is a model, MySQL model, which is uh, by default enabled on the recent releases like uh, 8, CentOS, RHL, ELA based system uh, that the yeah, MySQL model is uh, by default it is enabled. Okay, so the first thing is you need to disable the MySQL model. So for that you need to do yum disable module MySQL. Okay. Yeah, one second. Yum module disable MySQL. So it will ask, yes, yeah, it is complete. Okay, now I disable the uh, default one, default MySQL model. Now I am searching the package again, MySQL community server package again, yum list, Python I MySQL community server. No, yeah, uh, now you can see the community server packages there. MySQL community server packages available right now. Okay, uh, so what we did, uh, we downloaded the uh, we downloaded the repository file, then we installed the M repository, then we disabled the MySQL model. Now the package is available. So the next step is I need to install the MySQL community server. Okay, M install MySQL community server. So what is the advantages of M installation? You have different types of M installation. Okay. Uh, uh, like uh, you can manually do the uh, RPM installation and you have the source code, you can uh, download the source and you can extract and you can do the installation. But here, uh, the a major advantage of the M installation is uh, it will, uh, by default, whenever you are installing the MySQL community server, it will find all the dependencies. Okay, so here we install, given the command to install the MySQL community server properly. Okay, but what it did, it find all the dependency packages, libio, MySQL community client, client plugins, common. So what are the packages needed uh, for the MySQL community server? It will find uh, find the, all the packages and it will install everything. So that is the one uh, advantage uh, using the M, M installation, okay? So currently the installation is in progress. Uh, it might take some time. <clears throat> Uh, meanwhile, we can create the steps here. So the first thing is download the M repo, right? So this is our um, link. Let me add it. Okay, the second step is what we did. We installed, installed the repository RPM package. That is the second step we did. Then we disabled the, disabled the MySQL module. That is the third step we did. After that, Installing the MySQL community server package. Okay, uh, let me go to the terminal. So the installation is still progressing uh, because it needs to install a lot of packages, right? That install dependency packages. It needs to install everything, right? So the installation is still in progress. Hopefully, it will complete. Yeah. Uh, now, end of the command you will see complete okay uh, so now the uh, mysql installation is completed so we can verify yum list installed graph hyphen i mysql you can verify okay uh, so uh, these are all the packages 
installed during this installation. Uh, five packages. These are the uh, very needed and important packages to run the MySQL server. MySQL server and lips and common client plugins and the client. Okay, so now we done with the installation. So what is next? Uh, let me add it here. So once the installation completed, verify the installation. Okay, uh, the next one is now we're done with the installation. Now we need to check the MySQL status, right? We need to start the MySQL service. Service MySQL D status. Uh, you can see uh, when I went, you, you can see the pro process in NACUB, services in NACUB, okay, uh, after the installation. So I am starting the MySQL service. Service MySQL D start. So during your first start, uh, the data directory will be initialized uh, and your temporary password, these things will be created. So it might take some time. Uh, so now the service is started. I'm checking the status again. Uh, it is active, okay. MySQL service is active now. Uh, now let me try to log in MySQL so when uh, uh, by default, whenever trying to uh, log in, it, it is not allowed. I am getting access to the error. Okay. So for the first login, you need you need the password, right? So the password will be stored in the error log, uh, MySQL error log. So to find the error log location, it is by default under var log, but you can get the CNF, etc. CNF. That is the default one. Uh, Whenever you go to the minor CNF, here you can find the variable log error. So this is the error log location, slash, 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 log, slash, mysql dot log. Okay, now I am opening the file. Here you can read the information. Uh, for example, here is my password. Uh, if you read the log, a temporary password is generated for root at localhost. And this is my password okay i just copied the password uh, now i am trying to log in with that password okay uh, so now i am able to log in the mysql okay uh, i am just trying to execute some command in the mysql but it is still not allowing because once you logged in with your temporary password you need to reset your password okay that is your uh, first thing once you log in the server so let me reset Alter is a root identified by root. Okay. So now uh, I came uh, uh, came uh, outside the MySQL prompt. I am trying to log in with the MySQL again. So this is the password I set. Yeah, now I am able to log in and I can see the schemas, whatever, okay. Uh, whatever operation you can perform, you can do. Because you are in the root, uh, you can give the show grants for to view your privileges. You have mostly all the privileges. Okay, uh, so some uh, sometimes some people are asking to do the uh, MySQL secure installation after the uh, MySQL, uh, when, when you are doing the fresh installation, then you should run the MySQL secure installation, right? But for MySQL 5.7 and uh, later version MySQL 8, that secure installation is not needed actually, uh, because uh, those things will be happened when, do, when doing the uh, installation itself, okay? Uh, if you run the MySQL secure installation, um, it needs the password. It will go to the go through the entire steps, but it is fine. It is not needed actually. Okay, uh, change the password for root. We already changed, right? Uh, so 
uh, it is not needed but uh, it is not needed okay you can give yen uh, but uh, why why this is needed for mysql 5.6 because when you are installing the mysql 5.6 it will not create the temporary password you can log in without password from mysql 5.6 with mysql 5.6 so in that case you need to reset your password but from mysql 5.7 and mysql 8.0 the password will when you will reset the password when you are first logging okay so here it is not actually needed okay remove anonymous user uh, here also you can give the yes but you don't have any anonymous user because they are already uh, removed during the installation okay uh, but still you can give that is fine and this is a root login remotely all your root users are having the local host only you don't have any root users with the open host or something uh, so but in case it is fine you can give yes and remote test databases it is also remote uh, during the installation uh, currently you don't have the test database you can see here i could given the show schemas come on by you you don't have the test database here but still uh, you can give yes it will give the give is like this and reload reload privileges you can give yes and finally it is all done okay uh, this step is this mysql secure installation is again i am telling it is not needed in mysql 8 and mysql 5 or 7 latest versions okay uh, but if you are running doing the fresh installation on the mysql 5 or 6 then this uh, step is mandatory mysql secure installation is the mandatory thing you need to do that okay so this is the way uh, of installation installing the mysql on the centos box um, you using the yum repository and how to start the MySQL and how to reset the MySQL. Uh, uh, so these are the things I shown in this first, first tutorial. So in the coming tutorials, I will also cover the other installation technologies and the different things uh, uh, from start to end. I, I am planning to cover the start to end progress of the MySQL. Okay, uh, so stay tuned, uh, keep, uh, do if if you are really interesting the video just give the like and share with your uh, buddies and okay, subscribe my channel okay bye thank you